it's time for another Google Slam. Thanks for all your positive feedback. I am going to keep these coming. Um, today I'm going to unleash the beast of Google Hangouts. Of course, our students figured out what Hangouts were long before a lot of the staff did. To access Google Hangouts, like any other app, I'm going to type in hangouts.google.com in my Omnibox. And you can see a nice introduction screen there. You can see I can do a video call, a phone call, or a message. And I've been using messages a lot. The tech department relies on messaging to contact each other as we're out and about throughout the district. To start a new message, you can see here there's a place for new conversation. If I needed to start a conversation with Betsy, I can type her name in and click on it. And here our Hangout box is started. It tells me whether or not she's on Hangouts right now or whether she'll see my message later. So I can just tell her to have a good afternoon and hit enter and she will see that message. You can download Google Hangouts on your phone as well as your computer. And you can see I have groups. So the tech department has a Hangout group. Um, I also have a Hangout group with my lab paras. And you can change who's in that group at any time, add people, and so on. There's a second way to get Google Hangouts, and that is to go to your Rainbow Apps Launcher. And when I go to the web store and type in Google Hangouts, you can see that there is both an app and an extension. So the top of the list are the Hangout apps, and the bottom of the list is extensions. You can see I just have the extension downloaded, and so if I look uh, at all my extensions. There it is. When I click on it, my Hangouts pop up. All the different Hangouts for all the different people. So check out Google Hangouts. It's a great way to communicate. Slam!